to another brand new video. I hope you're all doing okay. So I thought for today's video, I will show you my probably most requested video since I mentioned it in a last video of mine. Um, I think it was in a vlog that I did my most natural makeup and I literally love doing this makeup look. So I actually don't use any foundation, but it looks like I'm wearing it, but it's just so, so natural. So I thought I'd show you how I do it. It's literally a few simple steps that I do to create a natural look and to make it look like I'm actually wearing a full face of makeup if that makes sense you can still sort of see some of my scar and through but it's not as red as what it is at the moment also my skin has been amazing since being on my acne medication as you can see I literally have no spots I just have the scarring which I thinking of getting a facial to reduce it because I know some facials you can get that can reduce scarring but yeah I thought I'd recreate my natural makeup look for you guys and show you how I do that and what products I use and also I'm going to be doing the Molly May inspired hair so she brought out her new hair straighteners I don't have those because I don't really want to pay a lot of money when I have good hair straighteners I know hers are probably amazing but I just can't afford to buy them so she basically has it all straight and then it flicks like this um i literally love that hairstyle on her she just literally suits it so so much so i'm going to be doing that as well for you guys so i'm going to do my hair and makeup so i hope you really really enjoyed this video and let's get started so the first thing i like to do is prime my face so i'm gonna take my nyx honey dew me up which you guys probably know by now i literally love this i use this every day whether i'm wearing foundation or not um i use this it's just insane so i just like to pop this all over my face also guys i got sunburn on the weekend as you can probably tell by my nose um it was my face was worse than this it was so sore and it was burning believe it or not like that sun was strong and i didn't realize so then i just rub this all into my skin this is the magic the last and perfection concealer they've actually changed their packaging on this um and i got this in the shade extra fair and it's number four i basically put this all over my scar and areas so i will literally apply bits onto my cheeks so i'm looking at my mirror behind as well also on my chin here and i've got a little few red bits here so i'm literally going to apply it to the red bits on my face so we're gonna go there this is literally all i do um it does dry quite quickly so i do it step by step so now i've applied that i'm gonna then blend it into my skin because it does dry quite quickly and it can leave like patches when you've put your powder on top so i just literally go really rough with this i it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be neat if it spreads to other places that's fine um but as you can see the redness is starting to go already which is insane i just love this concealer it's so so good and then next i'll go on to my chin area so i have a lot of scarring on my chin area so again go in and blend it it will make me look really pale at first but when i show you the next few steps i will start to look a bit more bronzed again <laughs> next i just like to apply a tiny amount into my under eye dark circles bags and then lastly i'm just going to do dot and a dot there because that's where i have some red spots so as you can see it's all looking blended nicely my redness has reduced so so much on my skin and um i am looking a bit crazy because of how pale i do look i am aware because this is a very light concealer but you will see the process in a minute next step i like to do after i've concealed my face is use the collection last and perfection ultimate wear powder this is in matte and this is in the shade one fair and let me tell you it is unbelievable it's so so good and it really does cover like more of your skin it's a bit like the concealer but just powder version it's so good so i'm just gonna pat this powder literally all over my skin just to set the concealer you can see a bit of like redness on my nose and then when i put the powder on it just like disappears oh honestly i cannot recommend this powder enough like if you're looking for a good powder try this and i think it was like 
four pound or even less like it's so good so go and check it out it is unbelievable and you won't regret it okay so now i have applied the powder i will then go in with a bit of bronzy glow on my cheeks so i'll take my coco Too faced contour palette and i use this shade here which sadly i'm running out of nearly so i do need to get myself another one of these palettes because i find this one is a bit too muddy for my skin um so i take a generous amount and i just suck in and do it on my cheekbones and also on my forehead down my nose and on my chin so i'll do a time lapse of this Okay, so as you would have seen by that time lapse, I have now done all of my bronzer. Um, it does look quite patchy in the video, but I promise you it's not. Like, I noticed in my time lapse it looked funny here, but in real life it doesn't look that bad. Um, so yeah, I've bronzed all my face up. As you can tell already, it's made a massive difference. Um, so next, I'm going to go in with blush now i never used to wear blush at all and when i got this palette i think for my birthday last year i was obsessed i don't know why i didn't use blush sooner i just love it so so much it brings out such a nice glow and just brightness to your face and it does make it look more natural so i have this revolution palette here and this is in the blush hot spice there's eight colors in there and the ones i normally mix between is this color here and this shimmery one here as well so today i'm going to use the shimmery pinky one so i just take one of the albi cosmetic brushes this doesn't have a number or anything but these are the brushes that my sister sold i think she's got like one set left i'm not sure so if you do want some new makeup brushes i recommend these because they are insane i'm just gonna dip into this i do apply a generous amount because honestly i just love blush at the moment the last step i like to do on my face is highlighter now i only do a little small amount with this natural makeup look because obviously it's meant to be as natural as possible but i love having a natural glowy skin so what i do is i apply it on the tip of my nose and down also like to do it on my cupid's bow i then apply it to my cheeks and then my forehead and my chin as well next i'm moving on to the eye area and my eyebrows so for my eyebrows i've been trying a new product which was kindly gifted to me from my friend which i'm so grateful for because this is insane it's the goof proof brow pencil by benefit honestly this is so amazing um i am going to warn you now i actually need to do my eyebrows because look at the state of them like i know it's actually gross reel it up a little bit so you've got a bit of a tip sticking out and then i'm just going to literally follow my hairs and just fill any gaps in i don't do them too block i just sort of do like a bushy eye look but i literally just follow all the hairs just to make them a little bit darker honestly eyebrows is my worst thing to do like i hate doing eyebrows I just don't enjoy them at all. And then once I feel like it's coloured in a little bit, it does look a little bit crazy, not going to lie. I then take my collection Colour Lash Mascara. And obviously, I tell you guys about this all the time. It's in clear one. And I literally use this for my brows. And then I just like to start to poke them up and make them a little bit more bushy and a bit more natural. Honestly, I love this stuff. To be fair though, my brows don't look good at the moment because of what's going on with all of this here. Like, that is a problem that really does need sorting. Yeah. But I am so grateful my friend gave me that one because 
it is good i'm telling you so i'm gonna go off camera now and do the other brow and then i will be back to show you what i do to my eyes the last two steps i like to do to my face is to apply some of the highlighter that i applied onto my face onto my eyelids just to give it a bit of a nice glow so i just literally roughly put this all over my eyelid with my finger just make sure it's nice and blended last step i'm gonna go in with my favorite mascara ever which i absolutely love and it is the um maybelline new york sky high mascara Okay, so this is the finished makeup look. I am so, so impressed with it. It looks like I'm actually wearing a full face of makeup, which in theory I am, but in theory I'm not. Um, obviously, I have no foundation on and my skin just looks incredible. Obviously, you can still see the slight scarring peeping through. But what I love most about this makeup look is that it does show my natural freckles um i just love my freckles so much and when i was wearing foundation you couldn't see it so yeah i just love recreating this natural look it has done wonders for my skin i've saved so much money on foundation as well I'm going to be recreating molly may's hair where it's straight and then she flicks it at the end i actually have done this so many times and it is one of my favorite hairstyles to do so i will show you how i do that okay so the hair straighteners i use is just the tony and guy ones and these were from b and i think i got them for christmas or for my birthday a couple of years ago and they're actually really really good hair straighteners so i'm going to go in with my sleek and straight spray this is for heat protecting as well i actually do need to get a normal heat protecting spray but i'm just going to spray this literally all over my head just so that it protects my hair from the heat i literally just partition it into two pieces so just going to brush it through I'll go in gradually and curve it in so it goes like that. It's a bit more like um, curling your hair the way I do it because I'm a bit naff handed and I still haven't got the grips of it yet. But if you just keep curling the ends, like curving it, then it should start to gradually work. But I just get all the hair and do it together. And there you have the first bit of hair all curved under nicely. And I'm going to go and do this side off camera and then I'll show you how I do the top of it. Okay, so that is the bottom done. Um, I'm not too fussed with how the bottom looks because sometimes it does go a bit too curly. I curl it under way too much sometimes. Um, but yeah, you get like the rough idea of how I sort of do it. I know it's not exactly the same as Molly, but it's sort of inspired by Molly Mae. Um, I just love that girl so much. Like she is... An absolute icon she's just amazing isn't she so i've got the next layer down so i'm just going to literally do the exact same and sometimes it does give me so much more volume which is really really nice because like i said my hair just is so flat and so thin it just does not like it there you go you can see it's sort of coming in already and that is literally all i do is just straighten it at the top and then bring it in at the bottom and you can see it start to form guys is how i do my flicks on my hair at the bottom like i said it's not exactly the same as molly may's but molly may has shorter hair and i do have longer hair thinner hair and just no volume in my hair whatsoever i hope you really really enjoyed this video of me 
doing my natural makeup look and recreating Molly Mae's hairstyle, sort of, in a way. I've done it my own way, but sort of got the inspiration from her. But yeah, I hope you really enjoyed. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and also subscribe down below. And I will see you next time in my next video. Bye, guys.